this a silent film? It is. <laughs> And welcome back to Golf North Wales. It's actually me in front of the camera today for once. It's not very often that I do this, but uh, Potter stuff. Yeah, it is Potter stuff. This is my realm. So the question is today: mallet or blade? That was one we got asked on yeah. one of our Cleveland videos. Unfortunately, we don't have Cleveland mallet, so we're going to use just plain and simple. Simple question: blade or mallet? Use both for Taylor made. Yep. How many likes do we need on this video, Scott? Ooh, uh, 748,000. If we do not get 748,000, you will lose every ball in your bag next time you play. Not you, <laughs> You're doing the more viewer. Of rubbish Facebook the viewer. things that people do. <laughs> yep, and how many subscribers? Um, we'd like to get around about 3.6 million. With 3.6 million subscribers, yeah everyone who is watching this video will be a scratch golfer so make Absolutely. sure you click that subscribe and let's just turn the because video because we all know all you have to do is watch youtube videos to be the best golfer in the world correct <laughs> so first of all we're going to have a quick discussion blade or mallet scott okay i mean we'll chuck some b-roll over we've got tailor-made spider not that it really matters yep. and tailor-made juno juno, juno so from the tp collection both tailor-made so we should have some sort of you know we're going to look at it in some very scientist scientist scientific go like this for me scott science science bro there you go so what would you use what are the difference between the two well i've got to be honest as most people know i've got about four million putters so i change all the time but my go-to is always a blade a blade it's just easier on my eye um today though we've been playing a few holes in the set and the other and i think you'll agree i've putted well with the mallet you have yeah i've not really missed many although quite nice all the advice would be pointing you towards more technology mallet mallet in essence, this is something that we, you'd, if you measured it throughout one round, you wouldn't see much difference. You'd have to measure it through a whole season. Hundreds of rounds. Probably. In order to see a few shots yeah, difference. Yeah. So, in essence, we think it's pick what suits your eyes. Personal what, preference. Yeah, because, well, I've struggled with my mallet, but I've actually yeah. come to love it over yeah. time. Whereas with the TaylorMade Spider, with your Scotty Cameron, when I've put it with that, I put yeah. it with that, just name drop here, I put it with that on Matt Crossley's channel and yeah. actually putted really well. Better than I'd putted for a long time. You did, actually, yeah. Um, but we're going to jump in to some science, Scott. Okay. The science. One, two, three, four. We're going to hit five balls. Yeah. Whichever holds the most putts. I'm just going to put my phone by there so we've got a line. Whichever holds the most putts equals what you should choose. Science. Is that as straight up science as it's getting, is it? That is pro science. You don't want any of my actual knowledge, just my putting. Yep, That's correct. Fine. Sounds like everybody else in my life. Yes, you are here for one reason to put ball. It's a mess. It doesn't break as much as I thought it did. Ooh, Ooh lift Jimmy it. Rimmer. I haven't chose the easiest here, he's going down the hill with different the brake changes all the way through. One in. It's one for the mallet. I actually needed to look at that. Go! No. Does not break half as much as you think, does it? No. It try it's trying though, isn't it? Yeah. No. I think it was just pace there. Eh? No break. So that is one out of five <laughs> for the mallet. And for everybody that always comments that I need putting lessons. Well, There's a I... win for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a quick one on that note. We're about, we're about 10, 12 feet away here. Yeah. If everyone's got a make rate of one in five over 12 feet, then I reckon you're doing pretty well. Yeah, you're not doing too bad here. I think, to be honest, my make rate from here is probably about three out of five. But my make rate from within one foot is none out of five. <laughs> That's the issue. Right, so mallet time. Has he learnt anything from these? One, f I think he's learnt these putts, but yeah. Firm and straight. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, one's pushed. That is one of the main differences with a blade and a mallet. You have to get it right with one of these. You've got to be so consistent. 
my stroke usually is, but Right, so already the mallet, for anyone who wants to know what to buy, is twice as good as... No, the blade is twice as good as the mallet. Three times. Oh, how's that not gone in? Science has proved that a blade is two times better up to now. Yeah. There you go, ladies and gents. Scott, what does the science say? That you're more likely to haul two putts out of five rather than one with a blade. <laughs> There we go ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching, again if you do like this video and if you hit the subscribe button you will haul guaranteed 2 out of 5 putts Absolutely. on your next round, on your next round 2 out of 5 putts, so hit that subscribe button, let us know in the comments what do you play, a mallet or a blade, is there any reason you play one rather than the other or is it just because you like it? For preferences.